interlocking panels. The interlocking panel is a 25mm deep rain screen panel with a top-down installation when installed horizontally. The maximum panel width is 333mm, which includes the face and joint, which is typically 20mm. The centre of the panel is fixed with screws, whereas the ends are installed in place with stainless steel clips that allow thermal movement. Window heads, sills and jams are measured up. As with all facades, a number of options are available for window flashings. In addition, the jams and head use a folded flashing that connect the interlocking panels to the window itself, although this will vary depending on the exact window configuration being used. Most of these elements can be modified standard interlocking panels. First, the sill is prepared and cut to size using shears or a grinder. The upstand against the jam is created with a 50mm fold. The sill is temporarily put in place with the window jam, which allows the flashings to be precisely marked up. Any excess zinc can be cut off the sill and it is then screwed into position. Here we are showing a picture frame window flashing. The window jam flashings are cut to size and screwed in place. The window head flashing is then cut to size and screwed into place. The exact angle of the sill is measured, which allows the jam flashing to be correctly cut. At the top of the jam, a 50mm return fold is created. The position of the folded flashing is marked on the window flashing. The jam panel is then cut to size with notches stamped into the jam which will hold the panel in place. Then the head panel is cut to size and installed. When the window is completed, the panels either side of the window can be installed. Panels can be installed over timber or metal cladding rails. It should be noted that this is a vented rain screen facade and it is good practice to protect the insulation with VM zinc membrane. When installed horizontally, the end of the panels include return folds. Screw holes can be pre-drilled on panels. Oblong holes can also be used to allow for thermal movement. The facade can then be continued downwards. Once the facade is completed, including associated trades, the protective film can be removed. It can be left in place for up to two months. Protective film must never be partially removed.